We just completed the setup of the child-friendly space here. The look of it is very beautiful and an, an environment that children will love. According to how people are already speaking about it, looks like an activity or space that will interest children and also support the work of the officers around here. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm Batson Baguma. I'm the resident chief state attorney for Bushenyi. I'm um, very happy for this uh, child-friendly space, uh, the room that you have prepared for us. Uh, and we appreciate Jealous uh, for coming up with this initiative, uh, especially for Bushenyi. Uh, we have been hearing about these rooms uh, which have been set up in other places like in Barara uh, but now it has finally come to us and uh, the room is really beautiful um, it has everything I believe uh, the child would need and uh, this one is actually um, out of the ordinary and it's like yeah they have gone on holiday <laughs> yeah it's really beautiful and I believe it will do a lot to work on their minds and their development, to not only help to alleviate the trauma of the, of the cases uh, of the crime that was committed against them, but it will also, I think, help to develop their minds. <laughs> I am called Faith Amanya Betega. I am a senior probation and social welfare officer for Bushengi District. So as I walked in this room, I was very overjoyed, very excited. Because this is something that I have really dreamed about. Uh, we always talk about child-friendly spaces, yet we don't have them. When you are trying to talk to a child, they need different languages to talk to them. A few conversations that we've had with uh, officers that work with children in these offices are sharing an experience that they did not have before. Uh, it was more formal before, but now it is more interesting and, you know, child-friendly for a child to come to office and realize there is an environment that speaks to them. They are more prepared to talk about their experiences than before. More cases are being taken to court because children are more interested to, to be part of the process as a result of the existence of these rooms. It is, it is going to go a long way in helping us uh, to deliver justice uh, for the children uh, because uh, children will always be children. So they were not meant to, to get involved in, uh, in, in, in the justice uh, system uh, but because of the situation they ended up there but they still have to be treated as children. So when we bring them to court and to our offices to prepare for cases, that would be a good way to prepare them, their minds, and also to try and alleviate the trauma, uh, to be able to set their minds, to be able to give us evidence uh, without fear. Even through making the environment friendly, the child opens up very, very quickly. I have seen this in the recent High Court session that we held, which was uh, more of sexual and gender-based violence the children were able to speak their mind through drawing some cartoons. I was excited the judge, she would interview them, she would ask them to draw pictures that make them happy, you know, and you'd see a child who is really stigmatized is trying to open up. So when I walked in, I was like, wow, this is what we've been lacking. So many times children close out on issues of abuse, they don't easily express themselves. Uh, so the environment in there is to help them open up and uh, if the prosecutors can also be actively involved in the process as they take the children through the usage and looking at the different items, it will be something that will improve justice for children in their work. I believe also uh, it will force them and by the time they leave going back to their homes, they will really feel uh, that someone cares and that uh, they, they are special. Yeah, it will help us uh, because usually we have challenges, uh, children coming to court uh, because they are traumatized, they don't want to cooperate with us. They, 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 they are shy, they are uh, intimidated, they feel like they cannot uh, release information. Yeah, so once we take them through that uh, friendly space, they will have played and I think they will cooperate. I do believe they will cooperate and it will be easier for us to get it, uh, the evidence out of them uh, to prove the case in court. 
really uh, the courtroom, the setting at the court, the setting in our offices was not conducive. Yeah, sometimes we'd even uh, in some places you'd meet them in the compound and a tree. The bigger impact uh, picture we, we envision out of the existence and establishment of these rooms is to see if all districts and regions can have a space like this and something that is now more of a national strategy or activity that is embedded in the justice system. Um, if it's continuously used, sustained very well, uh, we, we, we want to acknowledge that we, we envision to see numbers of cases of children that have gone to court and have been won because the children have actively participated in their process with such an environment that encourages them you know, to share their stories and participate in a child-friendly way. So we look at this as something that is improving overall the country justice for children in a child-friendly aspect or approach. And uh, the way we appear to them, they would never understand what we are we are aiming at and uh, so we would not get the best out of those children and uh, of course with the training we've been receiving over the years we try to improvise uh, and would use a friendly approach to children to become friendly to get out of the way maybe for example get out of your chair and sit with them on the mat as you have seen we had uh, those mats and those uh, few toys we had but now we are loaded. <laughs> we are fully loaded and we believe we are going to do a lot with that room available to us. And I encourage um, all the prosecutors, especially here on the station, to make use of the room. And I know this will be great for me. It will be great for police because they're the ones who handle these files. Even for the children, when a children is stressed and you bring her in, there is tea, there is a sword, there is a toy. There is a sound to pray in. There is this. So the children will really feel at home and will be able to explore what maybe we wouldn't have done as an office, as DPP, as police. So to me, it's a thumbs up for all the partners. I appreciate Jeros. Uh, the feedback we are getting from the previous uh, spaces that have been set up is that this is something that was not thought about before. And uh, the fact that prosecutors didn't know much of how to relate with children in this official kind of work. So many of the stations are sharing information on how this is improving their service and working with children better. And uh, knowing that children love a play world, bringing this to an, of to an office like this is actually bringing children closer to these officers that you know, support them into the justice. Processes. So I think this is communicating that the rooms are appreciated. I do appreciate this initiative. It's a great achievement for us in Ushenyi. I appreciate uh, Jelos and the ODPP uh, for having uh, considered Ushenyi by giving us this uh, child-friendly uh, space. And uh, we encourage them to continue uh, setting up more of these. So I feel all of us as stakeholders, we have a role to play, but to the donors, bravo, bravo, thank you for supporting us. This will make the children to smile and acquire their rights as they go into the justice-seeking system.